What's up guys? What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Co's Corner. It's Sunday morning. We did hit up some garage sales last night. You can see a couple of things behind me. Uh, right now it's the weekend before Thanksgiving, but by the time y'all see this, I'm sure Thanksgiving will have passed. But we did have a couple great finds. We got a couple good items here. One of the cool things is one of my friends was available, so he actually rode along with me. He didn't buy anything. He wasn't really in the video much, but you might hear his voice throughout the footage. But before we really cut into that and show you guys what we bought, I do want to go over something that, of course, you can see in the title. In one of our very first episodes, I promised you guys that there wouldn't be any clickbait. I wouldn't drag you guys through whole videos just to get a little tidbit of information that I alluded to in a title or on a thumbnail. So I do want to talk about that first. And apparently I chose the very worst time of the day. Uh, they're doing some construction next door, so if you hear some bus saws or anything going on, just ignore it. Hopefully I'm louder than it. Uh, like you guys saw in the title, you'll see back here as well on the whiteboard, we did get our first Vero ever from eBay. And for those of you who don't know what that is, I'll wait for this car to drive by. For those of you who don't know what that is, you can see back there, it's a Vero is Verified Rights Ownership Program owner program, ownership program. Anyways, um, if you have anything proprietary as a company and you don't want other people to sell it or you find out that somebody's selling knockoff versions like a fake Gucci purr or something like that, you have the option to call in a what's called a Vero, which is short for verified rights ownership. Uh, anyways, we got our first one and it wasn't a huge deal uh, the bad thing is, with it being the first time, there's no repercussions, but it does go basically as a strike on your record. So as you get more, you could get suspended, your account gets suspended, or you get kicked off eBay in general. So your goal is really not to have any at all. But we did get our first one, and it was actually for a $7 remote. So this is a Spectrum remote, just the cable company. Uh, in the actual email I received from eBay with some more documentation, I got a Vero for selling uh, a fraudulent item, which I assume they would say is a knockoff. I went through my description. I couldn't really tell why they would think it's a knockoff. It clearly says Spectrum. They do give you some information on how to reach out to the company. Now, I expected to be worth on something worth lots of value, not a $7 item. I actually bought three of these and two of them sold a long time ago. So there's just one left on the listing. So it did get taken down. It's not a knockoff by any means. It is a Spectrum remote. They're a very big cable company down here in Texas, especially in the San Antonio area. So they gave me some information on how to reach out to them. I'm going to do that and reach out and let them know that it's not fraudulent. Uh, if they don't want me selling their remote, that's fine as well. But I don't feel they uh, call in a viewer on me for a, a true and accurate thing. So uh, my goal isn't to be able to sell this you know, it's seven bucks free shipping. So I probably made like two dollars on the first two each. So I'm not really fighting for the money. What I'm really fighting for is to make sure they know this isn't fraudulent. Hopefully they will uh, rescind that Vero that they pulled on me. That way I get that strike removed because I really don't want to get any strikes on my record that I don't need to. This time it wasn't my fault. So, so yeah, there you go. That's uh, what we got Vero for. For those of you guys that don't know what a Vero is, now you know. If you guys are really interested in finding out more information on it, uh, you can always go to eBay. If you just Google eBay space Vero, V-E-R-O, -E you're going to find a full list of every single company. Some of them don't want you to sell knockoffs. Some of people don't want you to sell their items at all, even if they are legitimate, if you don't have their license. Uh, one that you might see a lot of resellers on their videos talk about a lot is... Uh, those otter boxes they were a lot more popular maybe five six years ago people would get those big bulky otter box phone cases for their for their iphones so if you even try and sell a legitimate branded otter box you'll get a vero and you'll have to have it removed and just you don't want to get those because again your account get, can get suspended and then you have to start over from scratch and nobody really wants to do that but Anyways, that's it. That's all I want to really talk about. So before we actually show you guys what's sold, uh, let's go and cut over to some of that garage sale footage and then we'll come back. I'm just asking on all these. Mm, 40. 
some that cold clothing rack is 10 bucks like that's actually a really good deal i would almost just get leave that for the garage Time to wake up. I'll take 50 for it. Take 60 on it. The pump's messed up on you, the pump for it. The what? We can hit the road. Morning. Good morning, how are you? Good morning. That's really good. Brand new. <laughs> yeah, that's really clean. How are you guys doing today? Good, man. How you doing? Good. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that weed. I, I don't know if the power supply is bad or the actual thing, but I don't know. Something's wrong with it, it though? It just be me. <laughs> That's usually how it works. You don't want to play table tennis with me no more. <laughs> <laughs> how much are y'all asking for for it? Alright, ten bucks. You can have a whole box. Or make me an offer. <laughs> I mean I think ten bucks is is fair enough. I have a Wii, so Yeah, there's some if anything the controllers. Oh really? Yeah, oh, I see. They have like all the cords and stuff. Yeah. There's a yeah that, that charger in there or no? I don't I don't think so. But Let the go, I, I'm pretty sure that I, I had that in my hand last night. The, the <laughs> okay. In there that works. I'll do that. Dang! So I'm gonna grow out of all these fast. <laughs> <laughs> My sister, my sister just had twins, so they're like the first babies in the family. So really, oh, I just saw a lady with twins, and I was like, I don't know how y'all do it. Yeah, we'll see how it how it goes. They were super tiny, so they were in the NICU for a few weeks oh, until she could bring them home, yeah. until they were strong enough. But they're home now, so should be good. How much are your kids' shoes here? Uh, so the Vans are like fifteen, and we do ten on the Nikes. Okay. <laughs> and you said how much on the Nikes? Ten. Ten. <laughs> oh, perfect! Awesome! I'll, I'll grab that. Sweet. Yeah, there's a like a little white cord in there. Yeah, I, I saw, I saw USB. all that stuff. Yeah, yep. this one. I'm pretty sure that's it. Let's make sure. We'll charge everything else. Yep. Cool. Yep. Perfect. And they got little batteries in there. That's yeah, awesome. There's, there's some batteries and, and all that thing, all that stuff should be there. Dang, brother got all this stuff kicked out. <laughs> oh, it's the potato head. Yeah. Oh, nice. He's all, what? Garage sale? I'm bring some stuff. <laughs> Is, uh, how much do you want for those little cars, cars? <laughs> they, well, they, I was going to do them with the Okay. Rack, I bet, I mean, it well, doesn't At matter. this point, whatever. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, yeah, that's how we got it. Okay. And there's a ton of, those are all, a lot of them. Are yeah, it looks like they're all cars, cars. Yeah, yeah, like, I mean, I, I the thought they were collectible, cars. man. There's all kinds of, I don't know, what do you think, babe? Yeah, I don't know if I would want the carpet. Yeah, it's all good. If you don't, um, I don't care. I'll throw that carpet away. <laughs> About 15 yeah, bucks on these? 15? Or whatever you think. Make me mm. an offer, you know? I'll think about those for now, then. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, ten bucks, whatever, dude. I'm, we're just, like I said. Just trying to get, all right. Just trying to get something out of nothing. I'll think about it. I'll just keep looking around. Yeah, no worries. Okay, I saw those. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pay for what I have right now. Okay. The 10 and the 10. Yep. Okay, Thank you. That's just votives. I'll put these away and then we'll come right back. Five. It's really nice. Dang, I was bought one of these. Just to hang up a little Coast Corner in the office. This is where you might find something good. Hey, you need a pocket knife? That's solid. You know, I got plenty of knives in my home. Bro. And he's on chest hair. How much is this? Uh, the pirate. Five. Five. How much? Five. Oh, little operation. Laura. Come on, dude. Uh, what are you what? I think he's gonna... Oh, ready? Ready. Anything is there 25 cents. 25 cents? Yes. <laughs> you need Elvis? Yes. My dad had this for a long, this exact book, and there's a little picture of my dad as a kid right here. I'm taking this. <laughs> that is awesome. Like this exact book is always little, little, my dad, yeah, this exact book, yep. Are you going to put yours in there? You have beer salt koozie? No, I've been told I have to No, don't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Hey, do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Grab all these. These five. This one just has fucking puke all over it. <laughs> Hold that one. Damn, dude, this is nice. I just want to see what it is. <laughs> 
I have a little shelf that I started uh, the little PVC monitos. Oh yeah. 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 I'll settle off, I think. <laughs> ran out of hands. Yeah. We'll start with those three are 15, okay. 16, 17, 18, 19. Looks like you're good for 20. 20? Are you good? Oh, a Jenga was here. Oh, you're taking Jenga? Oh, okay, cool. No worries. Oh, you're good. No, <laughs> see. <laughs> so we're back to 19. I was going to put them in the bag. You good? Yeah, I think I have. Yeah, I got some ones. And it's 15. That's super cool, guys. <laughs> Let me get that back for We just um, unpacked this at my work. Like mm -hmm. a $700 camera. And then I was like, oh, I have this little. <laughs> so I just saw. Okay, I'll just cool. cool. Thank you. Alrighty. Cool. Bye, Elf. Say bye to Elf. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the footage. So now we're going to go ahead and just go over everything we bought. We didn't buy a lot. We actually spent like $60, but we did get a couple really good finds. So I'm really excited to show those to you guys. All right, so everything we bought was for minimal amounts and good money in return. Uh, the first thing is this little ALF plush. It's in pretty rough shape, but I saw these selling for as high as $30, $40. As you can see, we paid a dollar for it. We got this pair of LeBron James's. I bought them. I keep telling myself I'm going to do a better job of looking at shoes before I just buy them. Um, I didn't realize how beat up they were. I got them for a dollar, so I'll probably just donate them. Uh, but if they were in good condition, they'd be a $50, $60 shoe. In here, they're in pretty rough shape, so it's going to take some time to clean them up. But I got three different cameras. Two of them will probably go for anywhere from $25 to $40. And one of them is basically worth the $5 we got for it. So I'll definitely clean up the two that are worth it. Makes a good profit. And again, I'll probably save this and just uh, drop it off at Goodwill. Down here are a couple of other things I got where the ALF was. Here's a little Dallas Cowboys analog clock for the wall. Uh, this one I was looking up some similar comps and I think we could probably get about $15 to $20 on it for just a dollar, which is good. All right, and this one, you guys heard me talk about it. My dad had one of these growing up. Super nostalgic. I remember seeing a little picture of my dad's face in the back of this thing. Uh, once, once they had a couple more kids, his just got destroyed over time, so I thought this was pretty cool just to just to have. In here I paid one dollar for P90X. You guys have seen me sell P90X plenty of times, so I'm definitely going to just sell it. It's again $15 plus shipping, $20 plus shipping out the door. It's in really good shape. You guys saw me in a previous video. We bought some Heelys and they had no wheels, so I ended up just I think I just sold them at the garage sale we had, but these do have the wheels, so they're going to go for about $25 to $30. I can't remember how much we paid for these now, but I think it was just a couple bucks. Just got to get some nail polish remover or magic eraser, get that off, and that'll be an easy sell. Now here, uh, you guys saw, he said he got everything in the box for $10. Uh, I saw Wii Sports and Wii Resort, so knew it was automatically worth it. He said the weed was not working. I did plug it in with the cord he has and it would not power on. So with the cord you can see that it's heavily corroded on one end. So it might actually just be the cord but if not either way I can still just sell this for parts. Uh, it is the RVL001 which means it plays GameCube games. So somebody might actually want it for parts. Uh, one of these days I'll talk a little bit more about how I sell these. Uh, but I'm basically going to put it up as a listing parts only for like 30 bucks if I get another Wii that's parts only I'm not going to make a new listing I'm just going to edit the existing one make it a two two lot uh, for parts only and just bump up the price a little bit 
I just keep doing that so I don't waste too many listings. Anyways, this had so many great games in here. I don't have re-results for myself, so I'm going to keep this one in a personal collection. We do have Wii Sports. This one is in pretty good shape, so it's going to be a $25, $30 game. Or we can just bundle it with a working Wii. All the rest of these games uh, are going for anywhere from $5 to about $20. So they're, we're definitely going to make our money on this $10 investment. Now Mario Party 8. This one is in pretty rough shape. So I'm going to probably just test it out and play it. If it works, I'm just going to keep it for myself. And I already have this game in my personal collection in really good shape. So I'll just sell that one and keep this one. Because for personal use, I don't really care how beat up it is. I'm just using it to play with my, with my brothers when they come around and visit. So, either way, we're going to make some good money on that game. And then there are tons of accessories. Uh, a dock for external batteries. If that works, that's going to be a lot of money. I, I'll probably keep it for myself because I don't have it. And then there's just so many nunchucks. I already have nunchucks, so I don't really need more. So, I'll test them out, clean them up. Uh, all the ones that are OEM nunchucks, which I believe... RVL004, uh, yeah, this is going to be an aftermarket, absolutely, but uh, maybe if it does work, I'll keep it for my own, just for everyday use, and then I'll sell my actual OEM uh, trademark Nintendo stuff. Anyways, uh, I don't know if so, we also got a couple more games here, we got GameCube game for a dollar, again, I'm just trying to build up my collection for now until I sell it all as one bulk, so I'll probably keep that door of the Explorer. Uh, this one I got for a dollar, just dance. It's gonna be about a 10, 10 to 12 dollar game for profit. I actually paid five dollars for this Xbox One game just because it's super cool. I don't have an Xbox One. Now, but for five dollars, I knew it was gonna be worth a little bit more. It's selling for about 15 to 20, so I'll definitely put it for sale online. Nightmare Before Christmas, I don't know why I bought this, to be honest with you. It's in really good shape. It's one of those special editions. It's only going to go for like seven or eight bucks plus shipping. Um, but if we can make a dollar, we can make a dollar. This other one is cool. You can see here, if I can put it the right direction. This is the entire Golden Girls complete set. Only season one is open. And one of the discs, but I guess disc one is as far as they ever made it. And then it ended up... On the shelf, it does have a little bit of surface wear to it. Y'all won't be able to see it, but brand new or used, they're both going for about forty dollars. So paying four dollars for this, we're gonna have ten times our money, which is nine times more than our goal. Now the last thing we bought, I believe, I can't remember how much we paid. I think she wanted four dollars each, or. We paid $24 for the lot. I don't remember exactly how much we paid. I'll have to look back in the video and, and verify. But these are Ralph Lauren. Uh, I had my friend Jimmy open it up for me so I could see what it was. My hands were full. But I opened it up. And these are champagne glasses. If you look here. Might be a little too blurry for y'all. I can't really focus that. But it says Ralph Lauren Full Lead Crystal. And it has the platinum on top. I looked these up guys, I saw a lot of, I think seven, sold for almost $250 if I'm correct. So these are going to be huge money, I have a lot of five, we got to open them up, clean them up, make sure none of them are cracked or broken, uh, package them up a little bit better so I don't have to worry about them breaking, and then list these, because that's going to be almost a $250, $200 purchase right here off of $20. That's going to be the big winner today, as well as all of the Wii accessories, but not bad all right guys thank you all for hanging around i hope you guys enjoy the video if you're new uh please subscribe hit that like button if you're if you're already on the channel you guys watch all the videos i appreciate the continued support we are growing we're up to 72 subscribers so we're well on our way to 100 uh, that's a short term goal long term is to get to a thousand but anyways thank you guys so much for being part of coast corner guys peace and love and i'll see y'all next time